Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Big Data Analytics. In this lecture, as part of MongoDB, we will discuss about how to create database and how to drop database in MongoDB. Let us move to first create database in MongoDB. Here, by using the command use MongoDB use space database underscore name. This database name, whatever the name you want to give, you can give the name. So here prefix with use command. So this statement is used to create uh, a database in MongoDB. So this command will create a new database if it does not exist. Otherwise it will return the existing database. So suppose already uh, we are creating a database newly. Okay, it creates. If the database already exists, then it returns the existing database available in MongoDB. Then coming to syntax, the basic syntax of use database statement is as follows. So here use is lowercase keyword, use space, database name. Here, whatever the database name you want, you can give. Here, uh, no termination is required, like uh, semicolon, nothing is required. Simply use space database name. Then the database will be created automatically by executing this statement. So let us see, for example, if you want to create a database with the name mydb, so here mydb is the name. So then use database statement would be as follows. So this is our MongoDB prompt, which was installed on Windows operating system. Here simply you can type use space in place of my database is the name of our database name. Simply you can use use space my DB, whatever the name if you want to can give, then it shows switch it to database my DB. So if you can run this one, so here, this is the screenshot copied from the execution. So here, use mydb, then it shows switch it to db mydb. So we will also demonstrate one example lively. First, what you have to do, you can go to the command prompt. So to run MongoDB, what we have to do, first we have to start the server, MongoDB server. For that, the command is mongod. So whenever you can use mongod, then the mongodb server will be started. Now here you can see it is showing. So here the server is started. Now you didn't close this window, just you can minimize it. Then you can open another command prompt. So here I'm opening another new command prompt. Now, uh, earlier you have started the MongoDB server. Now you have to start MongoDB client in the same system. Standalone system, we are considering it as a client server. So now already server is started. Now we are starting the client. To start client service, simply you can type Mongo. Here D is not required. So MongoDB is to start the server service. To start client service, simply you can type Mongo. Now you can enter. Now you can see Mongo client is started. Here it is showing the prompt by pressing Control L. Now it clears the screen. It shows the prompt. So this is the MongoDB prompt of uh, client service. So now earlier, uh, uh, whatever the statement we demonstrated here you can see so here we used use space my db then it uh, switched to db the database name is my db so this my db uh, i already created so i will use another new name so for example my db1 i will give so now i am using use my db1 now you can see it shows switch it to db my db1 now this is our database created. MyDB1 is the name of the database. So after creating database, then let us see. You want to check 
your currently selected database, we have to use the command simply DB. So whenever you can type DB, now whatever the database you created earlier, we created my DB1. So that will be displayed. Let us run and check this one. Simply you can type DB, now you can see. So what is our database we created? So that is my DB1. Now whenever you can use simply DB, it shows the above created database. That is my DB1 is displayed here. Then, so if you want to check our databases list, use the command show DBS. You want to check all the available database names. So the command is show DBS. Now let us check this one here. What are the databases available? Show space DBS. So these are all default commands we have to use. So what are the databases you created? Those will be displayed. Here you can see it is showing by default system related admin, then configure, then local. These three by default. So earlier I created my DB, then sample DB is also created, then test is also created. So these three databases are newly created. But here our latest database is my DB1. But my DB1 not reflected in this list. Then what is the reason? See, whatever the database you created, if you want to see the database, at least one record should be inserted into that database. Then only our database will be listed in this show DBS. So for that, what we have to do, let us see. So here, uh, if you want to check our database list, we use the command show DBS. Here, by executing this command, whatever the available databases, those are all displayed. But our uh, latest created database, my DB1, was not there. So for that, uh, we already mentioned. Our created database, now we use the latest one, my DB1, is not present in your list. To display database, one, you need to insert at least one document into it. So without inserting uh, at least a single document, our database won't display it by using show DBS. So we have to insert at least one document into the database, whatever the database we use, my DB1. So for that, uh, we will use insert uh, command. So later at the time of, uh, I mean, uh, after create, creating collection, then we have to insert uh, documents uh, into that collection that we will discuss later. But as part of your creating database, you want to see. So first we have to insert at least one document into that database. For that, uh, the statement is, so it is prefixed with DB, DB dot. Now here, here uh, we have taken student. Here student is the name of the collection. Here collection nothing but table in RDBMS table here equivalent uh, terminology in mongodb is collection here the collection name is student dot then insert command so you can use the insert so insert within no parentheses so within set brackets like a key value pair combination you can give whatever the attribute and followed by its value this is for demo purpose so one simple document we are inserting so whenever you can execute this uh, statement, it shows right result n inserted. That means number of documents inserted. So it is showing colon one. So default here we have taken one document. So one document will be inserted. So after executing the statement, uh, so then again you can run show DBS. Now here, whatever the DB we created recently that will be displayed here. You can see my DB, it is showing. Now, in our case, we use my DB1. So let us see the my DB1 will be displayed or not. For that, first, what you have to do, you can create uh, one collection into the database. See, you may raise one question here my DB student, both are different. My DB is the name of the database. Your student is the name of the collection. That means this collection will be stored uh, into my DB database. So when this database will be displayed, at least one collection uh, is created. But here we didn't use a create collection statement, even by using a collection name dot insert this statement, automatic, art, automatically creates the collection with the student dynamically. That is the advantage of MongoDB. 
we'll also let us take another new collection in case of student suppose you can take uh, so the command you can type uh, so db dot now i will take student one is the name of the collection so dot then you can use insert uh, command in insert command within parentheses within uh, double quotes the double quotes also within uh, set brackets you can give the attribute name followed by value as key value combination suppose here i am giving name so within double quotes colon now you can give so suppose the name is uh, mongo i am giving mongo db is the name I, I, I am giving so now here you can see so here name can be represented within uh, double quotes colon that mongo db is the value the name is mongodb so now whenever you can uh, execute this statement yes go to the cursor to the end now you can see what it is showing right result n inserted so number of documents inserted it is showing one so here one document is inserted now here you can see automatically this student one collection is created so the collection concept we will see in the upcoming lecture how to create collection now here we are discussing about create a database so now here our target is why we inserted this document into student collection to show the database what is the database we used in my db1 now again you can run show dbs see now i am executing show dbs again now you can see so what is our uh, latest database we created here you can see use my db1 so earlier by using show dbs here my db1 is not there after inserting one document into the student one collection now again uh, we are executing a show dbs command now here you can see here it is showing this one mongo db1 here you can see this is the mongo db1 so our uh, newly created database was displayed here like that we have to create a database and you have to check the database by inserting at least one document into a collection name collection name dynamically whatever the name you can give here so like that so we can create a database and we can see the database using show dbs so here in MongoDB, default database is test. Actually, here, this was installed on Windows environment. If we can take Ubuntu, Linux, so automatically uh, the default database is test. Suppose here, if we didn't create any database, then the collections, collection means tables, will be stored in which database by default? Test database. Here, MongoDB default database is test database. Even if we didn't create any database, then the collections will be stored in test database. So uh, this is the command for uh, creating a database in MongoDB. Then after creating database, you want to drop the database. How to drop? Like in RDBMS, so we'll create table and we'll drop table. Like here in MongoDB also, we'll create database, we will drop database. Then similar to RDBMS, uh, like SQL, MySQL, how to create table, how to drop table, that is our next concept in upcoming videos. But in MongoDB, the table, we'll call it as collection. Here, we can't call it as table. In MongoDB, a table is nothing but collection. Now, first here, we'll see, we created a database just now, MyDB1. Now, how to drop the database that we'll see now. So the syntax for uh, drop database so by using the drop database method so this is the method so here uh, see drop database method okay so mongodb db dot drop database in drop database database d is uppercase letter remaining all lowercase letter simply you can use the parentheses so this command is used to drop an existing database so the drop database method syntax is the basic syntax of drop database command is as follows so simply you can use db dot drop database 
So before uh, using this one, first we have to switch to the database, which database you want to drop. So by using use uh, space database name, then you can uh, use db.drop database. Then automatically the database will be dropped successfully. So here, this will delete the selected database. If we have not selected any database, then it will delete the default database that is test database. So here, if we, if we didn't create any database in MongoDB, so automatically the created collections will be stored in the default database that is test database. Here, if we have not selected any database, then it will delete the default database that is test database. Now, let us see one example. First, check the list of available databases by using the comment show DBS. So now here, whenever you can use show DBS, the available databases. Now we will also see here, though again, you can run show DBS comment. So these are all the available databases. We are having uh, except default uh, admin configure local. My DB is created database. My DB one is created. Sample DB is created. Test is created. Now recently we created my DB one. Now uh, we will move to my DB one. Then we will drop this one. Uh, let us see how to drop. So here first we want to delete a new database. Here our database we assumed is my DB one. Then drop database command would be as follows. So first you can switch to your database, whichever the database you want to delete, use my db1. So here our database uh, is my db1. Now this database we are going to drop now. Now it is switched to db my db1. Now we will drop. For that, uh, what is the command we will use? Same. So db dot drop database, then it returns OK by default one whenever it displays like this then the database will be dropped successfully now you can see db dot drop database simply you can type db dot drop so here drop database in database d is capital D A T A P A S E. then use empty parentheses then you can enter now it is showing here you can see okay it is the like the result is also in the form of key value combination. Okay, one one means a boolean value true. So here now my db1 database was dropped successfully. So again you want to check the database is available or not. So let us see again you show dbs. Now you can see this is the screenshot uh, copied uh, from the execution. Now to check the list of databases again you can use show dbs so here your earlier uh, drop database won't shown here now let us check now you can use show dbs so what is the database we dropped here my db1 now by using this command let us check it is available or not now you can see here uh, my db is there but our database is my db1 my db1 is not there here that means so the my db1 database was dropped successfully. So this is the comment for drop database. So like that, we will create a database and we will drop database in MongoDB. In upcoming lecture, we will see how to create a collection, then how to drop a collection. Like in RDBMS, SQL, MySQL, how to create a table, how to drop a table, similar fashion in MongoDB, how to create a collection, then how to drop collection that we will see in next lecture. Stay tuned for the upcoming lectures.